What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to a new American Truck Simulator video. Today, we're going to be doing something fun, something a little more chill, and something that you guys have been requesting for a very long time, and that is to kind of change things up a little bit. We're going to add more lights to this truck. As you can see, it's like nighttime, but there's not too many lights on this truck. So, we're going to take care of that today, guys. Don't worry. And, uh, yeah, in the previous episode, we, uh, oh, basically we did the triple trailer delivery, and that was a fun episode, guys. But we almost ran out of gas, so we, we have to hit up this gas station. And lucky enough for me, uh, there is a, um, a, a shop over there where we can modify the truck a little bit, so... Anybody coming? I think we can squeeze in. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff today. We're not just gonna add, you know, lights to this truck. Another thing I wanna do is, I wanna change up the look of the truck. So maybe we'll do a different livery. Maybe we'll just paint it a different color. But we have $37,000 to work with, so yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna do a delivery with this truck too, so lots of exciting stuff happening in today's episode. I hope you guys are excited, hope your day is going well, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get the show on the road here. Man. Alright, here we go. I just really like this truck, I don't know if I'm gonna you know switch things up like there are like other modded trucks out there but I just I think this is like one of my favorites you know so yeah we're definitely gonna hold on to this one but yeah, so I think there is a gas station coming up on the left hand side and there should be a, a, a body shop. So we're going to take care of both things at once, do a quick job and uh, yeah, we're going to be good to go. And then in the next few episodes, we're going to try and collect a lot of money just so we can uh, upgrade our garage spaces. Um, we have two garages currently, one in San Diego and one in Salt Lake City. I kind of want to upgrade both of them, so. Oh, there's a train coming. Look at that. We just made it through there. So, <laughs> funny. Um, but yeah, we're going to upgrade both garages. We're going to hire drivers, and so far we have four drivers, including myself, four trucks, four trailers, uh, four of everything, but I kind of want to grow the operation here, so. Alright, the gas station is actually right here. We're going to pull in. Okay. We'll do that right here. Squeeze right in, hopefully. Yes. All right, here we go. This is usually pretty expensive, but let's see how much money that's gonna cost me today. Man. Sometimes night episodes are cool, especially if you're like in the city like this. But dude, oh my gosh, we were almost empty. $860. Almost a thousand dollars to fill up diesel in this truck. Kind of crazy. All right, so uh, now comes the fun part. We have to um, we have to find the shop. I think it's in the same plaza, right? Where is it? Oh, I think it's right there. Perfect. We're gonna go over there right now, and uh, yeah, we're gonna change up the look of this truck. 
because I've kept it the same way for such a long time. I do love the way it looks, uh, but I think it's time. It's time that we change things up a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, get inside and make some customizations. Actually, let's do some maintenance because I always neglect to do that. Uh, it's just the wheels. Everything else is good. Look at this. All right, $500. Okay, let's fix that. All right, next thing's up. Uh, we're going to configure the truck a little bit. And um, like I said, I think we're going to do a little more lights is all I need. So I think, is that? Yes. All right, so I'm going to do <laughs> this whole strip full of lights. And we're going to see how it looks at night. Ready, guys? A few moments later. All right, guys. So I did a whole strip of small LED lights right here. Uh, we're going to see how it looks at night. I'm not quite sure, but anything is better than what we had before. We also have some lights over here on this um, uh, on the air filter housing, and on this side here too, on the inside. But yeah, um, I don't know. I think we could do lights in the back. Yeah, we can add additional lights on the underside here. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. Maybe. I just don't know. All right, so I added the LED lights anyway to the back panel right here. Uh, we'll see if that's going to make any difference. But I think we're going to have a glow all around the truck. I think we could potentially do add lights here. Yeah, let's do that. I think I'm just going to do the small LED ones like throughout the whole um, truck here. So uh, bear with me, guys. Let's go ahead and add those. And I don't even know if they're going to be bright enough, but I'm thinking this is LED lights. So they're they're probably going to work nice at night. Wabam! We have lights in the front, lights on the side. We just have to add a little more lights on this side here. And uh, we're going to be good to go. All right, so I hope this looks good at night because we spent over $2,000 for some measly lights. Over $2,000. Like, why is it so expensive for a bunch of LED lights? I don't know about these. These are questionable. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how they look. Oh, but I'm thinking this truck is going to look insane at night. And actually, I think I can add better lighting here. Yes, we can. There we go. Let's add a little more lights to the tank. I mean, we had lights there, uh, but these are going to be uh, that much better, I think. We're going to have matching lights here. All right, this side is done. Yeah, these lights probably are going to be a lot brighter uh, than um, what we're used to. But yeah, man, <laughs> this is coming around. This is going to be like a nice little Christmas tree, man. All right, let's add some LED lights on this side too. All right, and we're done. So last but not least is we're going to change up the look of the, uh, of the truck. So I don't know if we should do some kind of a cool livery. Hmm. Or, dude, I think we should probably do a livery. Because we just had a plain color. We had the plain Jane truck before. Um, oof, I don't know. Something about black trucks just looks cool. I think we're going to go with the livery today. It's only $1,000. It's actually not that expensive. We could also change up uh, the color scheme as well. So, yeah. Maybe something simple like that. This is what we have currently. It's like the. It's called the Grand Citroen Metallic. Really nice color combo. So I went through a bunch of options, but I really like this one. I did change up the red a little bit just to make it pop a little more. I think this is what we're going to go with. Um, yeah, everything's going to cost us $4,716. Let's go ahead and confirm it. We're going to see how this truck looks now from outside. I can't wait, man. All right, so here we are. We're going to start it up and see how the lights look. Ready for it? All right, here we go, guys. Oh, yeah. All right, so we have some glow going on for sure. We got some headlights as well. But, yeah. 
This is nice. This is definitely better than what we had. Now, these are not, like, overpowered, right, blinding your, your eyes, but it's a nice touch. And I think a lot of you guys wanted me to add some kind of lighting to the truck for a while, so I think this will do. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I think this is, uh, this is nice. And also delivery. Let me know. Alright guys, so I'm thinking we're gonna do a quick job. Uh, so we're gonna go from Logan, Utah to Salt Lake City, Utah, where I'm actually located. And, uh, we're gonna make a little bit of money, but I, I kinda like this little trailer. I wanna see what that looks like on our truck. It's so cute. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna be transporting mortar. So, yeah. Alright, let's go. This place is, uh... I guess 21 mile or 21 minutes away. I sometimes I confuse minutes with miles, and you guys have uh, caught me <laughs> before. So yeah, sometimes I there's 16 mi and 21 mi an. Okay, cut me some slack, guys. <laughs> mi is obviously for miles, and mi an is minutes. But sometimes I glance at some of them and I just get confused. And yeah, guys, unfortunately, the bright headlights mod just does not work with this truck. So it's like it's so dark driving at night. I don't know why they don't work. I should be really paying attention. Yeah, I don't know why this mod does not work on this truck. But anyway, um, I'll uh, check back with you guys once we get closer to the location. Here we go, guys! We are pulling up! That was actually uh, quicker than I thought it was gonna be. I think it's this right, right here. We're gonna pick up this little trailer. Actually, I didn't even look at the time. Maybe it expired. Sometimes you have to get there quick. I just don't know. I guess we're going to find out right now. Uh, hopefully that trailer is still available. Alright, let's go ahead and see. So, the one that I wanted to do was this one here. Oh, dude, this one is even smaller. What? You know what? This one's gonna look ridiculous on our truck. So I'm thinking like this baby trailer. Still want to see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and accept the job. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Oh, they're right next to each other. Oh, okay. So I mean... Yeah, I guess... Um, they're both similar in size. The one that we're picking up is a little smaller, and I think it's going to look a little bit better on our truck. We are using advanced coupling, so we have to be extremely, extremely precise when we're trying to latch this thing on here. There we go. There we go. That was perfect. First try. Look at that. All right, let's see. This this looks really cool, actually. This would be a nice thumbnail. All right, so I actually ended up making this our uh, thumbnail. Yeah, it just looks really, really cool. All right, let's get out of here. This drive is not going to be that crazy. Only about an hour and 30 minutes. Um, but I really like this trailer. Even though it's so, like, tiny, it just looks well-suited for our truck. What do you guys think? Maybe I should buy a small trailer for us to use. I just don't know. I think I like how a super long flatbed looks. I actually miss it. I miss our flatbed. Let me know if you guys want us to use that long 53-foot flatbed 
It's been a while. Nobody's coming. We're good to go. And I forgot to look. Are we discovering that new city that we're going to? Or have we been there before? I guess time will tell. We shall see. One thing I kind of wanted to talk about, and um, it's, you know, the comment that I see often from some of you guys is that, you know, hold on, hold on one second. Let me actually get on the highway. What is this on the ground? That's weird. Is that like a gate? That was weird. I've never seen that before in real life or in this game. Either way, yeah. So one of the comments that I s often see is that you guys suggest for me to go back to GTA 5 because my views, you know, start started going down when I switched the game. But it's actually not true. So I wanted to talk about that really quickly. And basically what happened was I was doing GTA 5 forever and I had really, really nice views at one point. And then the views started declining about two years ago. It didn't just happen, right? So I just started playing American Truck Simulator about two months ago. But the views started going down about two years ago. Wow, that was an interesting ramp. But yeah, so the views started going down two years ago. It didn't just happen. It happened kind of gradually, but yeah, it just uh, started two years ago, and for two years straight, I saw a decline in views, and more and more and more and more and more, so, and that was doing only GTA 5. I wasn't doing any other games at the time, so I loved playing GTA 5, but the views just weren't there. And if you look at my most recent GTA 5 videos, which were maybe two months ago, like right before I started playing uh, this game. Oh, bro, come on. We gotta hit up this wait station. There's a lot of traffic here today. What is happening? Is he going? Okay, no, he's not. A lot of these trucks, they just pull over and they pass through. It's kind of weird. All right, leave your guesses in the comment section down below. I forgot to check what the um, how <laughs> how much the cargo weighs, but I'm gonna guess everything weighs about fifty-eight thousand pounds. Here we go. Wow, fifty-four. That was not that far off. There's a truck coming. Would he let me go? No, of course not. I'm gonna wait for it. Dude, there's so many trucks coming. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, well this one stopped. Thank you. What a nice fella. So anyway, as I, as I was saying, the view started dro dropping two years ago when I was doing GTA 5 and if you look from just two months ago when I was still doing GTA 5, the views were actually a lot lower than we're used to. So at the height of my channel, right, I would get like over a million views on some of my GTA 5 videos, oh, but a good standard was if I post the GTA 5 video, I was almost guaranteed a hundred thousand views on that video. So, and more recently, just like two months ago when I was doing GTA 5, I can barely break 20,000 views. Barely. So, yeah, I was like, you know what? It's time for a change because GTA 5 is no longer working. I can't hit a hundred thousand forget about a hundred thousand views I couldn't hit 30,000 views doing GTA 5 content so I was like well what's the point I don't enjoy it anymore really you know I've done it for years let me try something new 
and I've always liked simulation kind of games. Uh, I'm going to try and do a lot more Forza for you guys. So we're going to open it up a little bit to like racing games as well. Uh, but yeah. I was like, it's it's time. It's time to uh, change things up a little bit. Dude, dude, dude. Going a little too fast here. I have flipped my truck before. Don't want to do that today. Going a little fast here, but we got it. We're actually almost there. Only seven minutes away. But yeah, that's kind of like a quick explanation. Uh, a lot of people think that my views started dropping because I switched things up to start playing other games like American Truck Simulator, but no, it's really not true. My views started dropping way before that as I was doing GTA 5. So, and that's actually what, you know, pushed me to try new content, you know? So, hope you guys understand. I know a lot of you guys still ask me to do GTA 5, but I just, I really, I, I really can't. I'm like, I'm out of ideas for that game. I, I can't even think about turning it on because it just, uh, I don't know. It's just not a pleasant feeling. It's like you've played the game for so long. I've literally done everything there, so I can't even see myself playing it. I will play GTA 6, guys. When that comes out, trust me on that one. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I, I'm, I'm excited for a GTA 6. But, like I said before, I do think it's gonna be mostly online. If not all online. Where you, you can see missions online and things like that. Um, but, either way, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Whether there, there are mods or, you know, no mods in the game. It's gonna be a good time no matter what. Uh, but yeah, here we are. We are pulling up at the uh, location here. Let me just make sure this guy drives through. Perfect. I think I've been here before. Yeah, it's that UPS on the right side. Cool. Still like the size of this trailer so manageable, you know? Open up! FBI! Just kidding. Alright, let's see where they want me to park this. Oh, of course! In that corner right there. They have to. I mean, they have to do this to me. Well, this trailer should be a little bit easier to maneuver. But unfortunately, this truck the, like the turning radius on this truck is just not very good. So, but we should be able to manage it. But I, I kind of struggle with, you know, parking at first try. Like, oh my gosh, dude, that was way too aggressive, actually. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna straighten this out. we may be able to do this here. Some of the other trucks are just so much more maneuverable that I can I can easily do this first first try, but with this one, especially if we do like a longer trailers, things become a little more complicated quite fast. Let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of the new uh, color scheme? The new lights, we're gonna keep that on for some time. And then once we get bored of this, we're going to switch things up again. But for now, I really, really do like the way this looks. The LED lighting looks pretty nice, but yeah. Maybe we could try and do other light bulbs all around. I don't know. Either way. 
we're done here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you guys already know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.